So good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Michal Epstein. I'm uh, from Israel. I'm a professional Scrum trainer from Scrum.org. I am a partner at Agile Consulting and Agile Coach. Uh, and this is Limor, my partner in Agile. And Limor, please introduce yourself. Yeah, so great to see you all. My name is Limor, Limor Halfon. And I'm a partner in Agile as well and a management 3.0 uh, certified trainer and an agile coach. So it's great to see you here. I think that the combination uh, of us here is uh, very important uh, for this uh, uh, great topic that we are going to share with you. So uh, you're going to have to do some stuff during this session. It's not only us talking. Uh, we hope that you will take with you some tools to become better leaders at your organizations. Uh, so we're going to talk today about who is a true leader, what is required to become a true leader, what are the characteristics and behaviors that are um, characterizing the, uh, the true leader. And we were going to reveal some gaps and dilemmas when promoting someone to become a, a leader. And when we are talking about leadership, we don't necessarily talk about someone who manage other people. Leader can be anyone in the organization that leads some kind of agenda, uh, a culture, cultural change, and also people. So their leader can wear many, many leadership hats uh, in the organization. Uh, during the talk, feel free to ask us any question at any time, or if you don't feel comfortable, you can put it on chat and Nicole will help us to capture these questions during the talk. Um, so I assume we can get started. Yeah. Um, first thing we are going to do is to ask you to try and describe and, have a, a, and get a, a job description for a true leader. Okay, if you would like to uh, recruit a leader in your organization, what you will be looking for. Now we're going, in order to do that, we're going to send you uh, for three minutes into three different breakout rooms and put, just add notes into this mural. Um, just oh. double click on the mural, I will send you the link soon. Just double click on the mur mural and you have notes and you can share your thoughts here. Uh, so. Let's uh, try to uh, create a job description for a true leader. You already have the mural link in chat and I will split you into three breakout rooms. Okay, so welcome back. I can see here that you put a lot, a lot of characteristics of a true leader, brings vision, impactful, uh, leading by example, uh, keeps the team moving forward, influencer, uh, wants others to succeed, confident, listening. Right. Listener, empathy. Yeah, so a lot, a lot of good characteristics and true for a true leader. They might really help a true leader. So let's try another exercise now. I would like you to think about leaders in your own organizations. And as I said in the beginning, a leader is not necessarily only a manager of other people. It can be someone that leads a culture, change an agile coach, manager of people, other kind of leadership, a scrum master that does not manage people directly. So every role that is considered to be a leader in the organization and try to think about the day-to-day -day activity and elaborate a little bit about the day-to-day -day activity of this role as a leader. Okay, we'll give you um, three minutes for that in groups as well. Now we can see in the mural that we have three spaces for that. Uh, the purple is for room number one, the blue, light blue is for room number two, and the light yellow is for room number three. Okay, so each room will go to its place and just think of one or two, you don't have to think of all of them, a leader in your organization and how it actually looks like in practice. Okay, don't think now about the job description, but in practice. Okay, okay. so we'll give you yeah. three more minutes for that. Give us a thumb up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm opening the rooms now. So, uh, last exercise that we want to do before we continue, okay, is to reveal 
um, gaps that we might find from the actual day-to-day -day work to the vision of how we see a true leader. Okay, so I exposed another mural. Okay, you can see it now next to the one that you just did. I will share my screen just a minute. There, we can see that. So just note if there are any gaps between the how the actual day-to-day -day look and the characteristics and uh, that we expect the manager to do and post them here. Okay, we'll give you two more minutes for that and then we will discuss it all together. Okay, so we can see some very interesting things uh, and some gaps between what we think a true manager should do or uh, manage most of the time and between the real life. And of course, life is not ideal, which is fine, but we would like to review a little bit more in more depth the um, characteristics of a true leader. Okay, and uh, we try to put it something uh, that is not a, a, it's maybe a little unusual uh, and not only a list of things. So, first of all, and by the way, are really related to what you wrote in the groups about uh, availability and listening and so forth. So I think you will find many connections. In yeah. Okay, so Bluetooth. Okay, a manager, a leader should believe in the way that he leads. Okay, a few years back, I was listening to a lecture uh, about parenthood. Okay, I find many, many similarities between parenthood and manager and management. And uh, the lecturer said that, that uh, every parent is like a Bluetooth, is transmitting like a Bluetooth to his kids. If he believes in something, the kids knows. So you can't tell your kids, stop shouting on the house, okay? And shout because they, they understand that you actually scream, they will do it. So whenever, even, even if you try to hide things, they are smarter, they will know that. So a leader who really wants to be followed needs to really, really believe in the way that he creates for the team. Otherwise, it just cannot work. And unfortunately, I so many times came to clients that told that, and the managers that paid me for coaching their teams tell me, just do agile with the team. I know what I need to do. Okay, it doesn't work. If you don't believe it, don't do it. Uh, take courageous decisions. Okay, manager needs to take some decision that may be uncomfortable for us but it's very much relevant. Don't be afraid to take them. I know we're talking about people and it's very important for us to keep them happy uh, in their work. And sometimes they are very uh, uh, much, a, if they're favorite of the people and they are experts in what they do, but if they don't fit the way, maybe they should not, uh, they should not be there or any other uh, courageous decision about how to act and how to create this organizational culture. We need to you can be also think about it uh, uh, of the scrum values of courage and to act of upon the one. Very much related to the scrum values. Um, assertiveness. So we are not there as leaders to please the people. Okay, we need to uh, bring the boundaries to work that we need to be very uh, assertive of that because if we have a hole, a hole in defense, okay, we will get very soon to a chaos and we want to lead everyone to the, uh, to the right place that we think is the right place. Another thing is about uh, managing people and not resources. Uh, I saw it also in your uh, notes talking about micromanaging and availability of managers and that managers can see uh, the entire picture sometimes and so forth. It's a trap that uh, many managers still uh, falling into when uh, we are trying to utilize the, the time, we are trying to utilize the people and not to utilize the flow and not uh, to uh, set the system that will enable the people uh, to work uh, in their best. So uh, we would not like to treat uh, people like objects so it won't work this way. And also when we assign uh, in an Excel, 
the capacity of people and the, the plan, it's not like object that if we will double it, then we will double uh, the throughput. Uh, it has uh, another way of behavior. If so, we double people, we double complexity <laughs> yeah. of the throughput. So, <laughs> so actually, uh, this is one of the things that uh, is a, a, a significant principle also in management 3.0. It's about managing the system and not managing the, uh, the people. So it <coughs> may sound weird, but uh, a leader should enable the system. Uh, and in that system, the people can grow the, and be self-organized and to ask the right questions in order to uh, uh, focus on the flow and not focus on resource utilization. So there are many practices that we can uh, discuss to enable this kind of a system. And another one that you also said it repeatedly, listen. In a complex world, and we are talking here in a complex environment, of course, a leader doesn't have all the answers. It's better if he will question. So he should listen, he should uh, um, provoke discussion, he should understand the, complex the complexity and involve the people. So let's... Put a spotlight on one of the leaders dilemma or why uh, many times not always of course great experts fail as, as leaders when they, when they start working as a team member okay we got the job we do outstanding technical work becoming expert helping peers become very prominent at the team and get great get great uh, bonuses along the way and finally yeah I become a leader. Okay, so now, because I become a leader, uh, because of my knowledge and expertise, now maybe the best thing I should do as a leader is to just tell the team what to do and how to do them because, and how to do this, because this is why I was selected to be a leader at the first place. And maybe I will make it a little easier on them because, uh, and so I will take the responsibility on the crappy work and let them be work quietly on the easy stuff. And then I, you know, they, my team is really great and they do everything I tell them, but somewhere along the way, I can feel that they are not very proactive, not very engaged, really waiting to hear my voice. So I don't know, how can I be successful as a manager? So maybe I should be more strict with them. What should I do? Or maybe professional, being a professional expert is not enough to lead and maybe it's not the only way up. Okay, and we need to consider some other characteristic what we, uh, as what we talked right now. Okay, so it's like a roller coaster. You go up, but then if you don't have the right skills and characteristics and if you are promoted due to the wrong uh, uh, characteristics, then you go down. Okay, and it's a very uh, hard slippery. Uh, we have here some uh, tips. What does it mean in practice? Okay, for example, um, Limor, you would, would you yes, like to, uh, to start with our so, one example? So we talked, for example, of uh, not uh, owning all the answers but, and not providing solution, solutions, but asking powerful questions. So. Uh, with the Scrum Master that I'm working with that is actually uh, aware of her own culture of uh, a bit command and control, we're working on this master. <laughs> so imagine yourself that in a daily, the team is struggling with an issue and then uh, in, what can she do? Uh, so she, all, she only asked them, didn't ask them, but tell them what does she think is the answer for the problem. So instead of doing that, we were uh, uh, discussing a question that we can actually ask when it comes to this situation. For example, what is currently possible? Did you check this kind of an option? What did uh, someone else could have uh, recommend in this situation? Or what would uh, a significant uh, else do in this uh, kind of a situation? So the issue here is to see how she can uh, ask questions to the team instead of providing them solution and by that uh, gain uh, more uh, involvement of the team. Another very quick uh, example because we are almost out of time. So have lunch with people, food is always good. 
make people happy and relaxed. Um, usually people tend to eat with their peers or with their, their direct employers, employees. So you can eat with everyone. You can eat with, uh, with other people that are not your direct employees. To, uh, it's also related to go to Gamba because um, then you can feel really what's happening in their day-to-day -day life and can help them and support them along the way. Mm -hmm. So we have several tips here that we won't have time to talk about all of them. And maybe you can also have an add more tips of your own. Of course, if you have any questions, follow this. Uh, so we'll be waiting for you at the booth and uh, we can share the, uh, this mural with you or you can email us. Uh, we try, we uh, put, uh, try to articulate uh, the true leader manifesto. So real quick, paving a road over firefighting. Okay, this is the role of the leader. If you firefight all the time, well, I'm not sure you're in the right way. Direct communication over hierarchical behavior. Okay, work, everybody is people, we are the same. So we can talk to everyone. We don't need to send a message through other people. Uh, asking questions over answering questions, like Limor said before, and support people over control people. That is, while there is value in the items on the right, we value the items on the left more. And I would like to summary this, uh, uh, this talk with um, a nice uh, statement by, um, by Jack Knott, who was the CEO of EPAC Digital Printing, uh, he was once asked what he is looking for in a manager of a new print factory site. And he replied that the manager should not come from the print industry. Uh, people ask, well, how come? I mean, how come you want a manager to manage a print industry if he does, is not aware of this area? And he, uh, he said that because these are people that can dare to dream and he doesn't look for people that will explain him what cannot be done. Okay, so we need to remember that this is the vision part of the manager. And so, <laughs> yes, and the la last but not least, uh, for the one that would like to uh, continue and to dive into this uh, important issue, uh, some uh, courses that enable true leadership, uh, both PSK and management 3 on online courses are here and you can uh, contact us and register. Hope it was valuable for you and, and uh, thank you for joining us.